In this question, our friend Felix owns a business selling exotic snow globes. He knows that if he sells them for $30 each, he can sell a total of 1,600 snow globes. However, for every $1 increase in price, he's going to sell 20 fewer snow globes. We want to know what price he should charge per snow globe to maximize his revenue. And then we also want to know what the maximum possible revenue is. Well, this question gives us a baseline price of $30. So we're going to let X be the uh, increase in price above $30 because the uh, increases in the, in the question were in $1 increments. So we know our revenue is going to be, in a simple sense, the price per snow globe times the number of snow globes. We know that uh, the price per snow globe will be 30 plus X because we're starting at a reference price of $30 and we're adding X dollars to it. But since uh, 20 fewer snow globes are uh, sold for every additional dollar in price, we know that the number of snow globes will be 1600 minus 20x. That means that this particular parabola, which opens downwards, we know that because the um, uh, highest degree on x will be 2, and the coefficient of that will be negative. Um, we see that the zeros in this case are at negative 30, because 30 plus x equaling 0 implies x equals negative 30, or 80, because 1600 minus 20x equaling 0 implies x equals 80. So the axis of symmetry is therefore at negative 30 plus 80 quantity divided by 2, which means the axis of symmetry has an x value of 25. So since the uh, maximum revenue occurs when the x value is 25, that means the price per snow globe should be 55. So the maximum revenue will be achieved when the price is $55. We then move on to Part B, and Part B says, what is the maximum revenue? Well, all we have to do is plug in an x value of 25. Our revenue is going to be 30 plus 25 over 1600 minus 20 times 25 which is going to equal 60,500 when we uh, evaluate it. So the maximum possible revenue for Felix in this case will be $60,500.